Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you watch this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. I now require Senator Aden Sifuna, pursuant to standing order 1052, to withdraw and apologize. This is a hill that I am determined to die on. My conviction is right. My conscience is clear. I refuse to withdraw or apologize. So there was drama in uh, the Senate. The moment the Senate Speaker, Amazon Jeff Kingi, requested Sifuna, Edwin Sifuna, the Nairobi Senator, to apologize for a remark which he made. And Edwin Sifuna earlier on said that uh, Russia had given Kenya free fertilizer, but Kenya opted to sell fertilizer to citizens. He also went to an extent of talking about the Aslas Fund, talk, saying that Aslas Fund, the calls which William Ruto made, were fictitious calls. So there is a small video that has been circulating to support this narrative. And I would like to share with you what... The speaker told Edwin Sifuna, first of all. As accordingly, I find and rule as follows. In respect of the challenge by Senator Mohamed Chute, MP, to substantiate the claim relating to fertilizer, Senator Edwin Sifuna, MP, has table evidence to show that indeed some fertilizer was donated to this country, but has failed to establish any link between that donation and the subsidized fertilizer. Therefore, this claim has not been substantiated. In respect to the challenge by Dr. Boni Halwali MP to substantiate the claim, that is not true that the government had employed one of three community health promoters, CHPS, Senator Sifuna did not table any evidence or provide any explanation to substantiate this claim as was required. The claim was accordingly not substantiated. In respect to the challenge by Senator Veronica Maina MP to substantiate the statement that default rates of the loans borrowed under the Hasler Fund are higher than those uh, than the ones of the commercial banks again senator sifuna did not table any evidence did not table evidence to support this claim the claim was accordingly not substantiated now honorable senators following the tabling of the documents by senator Aidan sifuna mp and in accordance with my findings in relation to the admissibility or otherwise of these documents and the failure to meet the threshold of substantiation in respect to the claims made I now require Senator Edwin Sifuna, pursuant to standing order 1052, to withdraw and apologize in respect of the claims that, one, some of the subsidized fertilizer came into the country as a donation from the government of Russia. B, it was not true that the government had employed 103 community health uh, promoter CPH. And finally, the default rates of the loans borrowed under the Hasler Fund are higher than the ones of the commercial banks. I proceed to caution, as provided in Standing Order 1052, that failure to withdraw and apologize will result in, the, in Senator Edwin Sifuna being deemed to be disorderly within the meaning of Standing Order 121. <laughs> Senator Sifuna. <laughs> Senator Sifuna. Mr. Speaker. This is a hill that I am determined to die on. My conviction is right. My conscience is clear. I refuse to withdraw or apologize for any of those sentiments because they are the truth. And Mr. Speaker, allow me to see myself out in lines of uh, standing order 121 2B. You don't need to bother yourself. I'll just walk out. Kindly proceed. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, I think you remember sometimes back uh, this year when Putin organized Russia-Africa summit and in the summit Kenya did not send a delegation to represent her. Though Museveni did and other African countries also sent their representatives. It was also expected that Kenya would miss out because of its close ties with the US or with the West. And I think you are aware about the issue or the beef between the West and the East. US and Russia 
our enemies. So it was expected that Kenya was, was not going to send a representative or Kenya was not going to be there. In fact, the president was, wasn't going to be among those who attended. So during that session, that summit session, Putin said that he had given Kenya close to 34,000 metric tons of fertilizer for free. And he also mentioned some other countries that received the same offer. I think Putin made the move to expose Kenya government because the fertilizer was supposed to be given free to citizens to caution them against the escalation on prices or on the high cost of living. So initially, this was considered a rumor by the KK leaders, but when Putin exposed the truth, the same leaders who had termed it a rumor did not object it. So this is what Sifuna uh, said during a debate in parliament. So the speaker for the Senate rose up to tell Sifuna that you are supposed to substantiate your claims and you are also supposed to apologize to those claims which you cannot substantiate. This is a hill that I am determined to die on. My conviction is right. My conscience is clear. I refuse to withdraw or apologize for any of those sentiments because they are the truth. What was supposed to follow that was that Sifuna was going to be ejected from the Senate. So because Sifuna knew that that is what was going to happen, he chose to eject himself out. In a, in a nutshell, this is what I mean. Kingi alisema kwamba usipo omba msama basi wewe utakuwa una considered amongst the disorderly behaviored leaders atakuwa kwa hiyo category so kwa sababu atakuwa kwa hiyo category itakuwa yeye kitu ambacho anafaa afanye tu ni atolewe the sergeant at arm was to force sifuna out of the parliament lakini sifuna kwa sababu yeye ni mtu ambaye anajielewa alisema kwa sababu kwamba naomba tu nijitoe kwa sababu utanitoa Lakini I am not apologizing. So Sifuna refused to apologize. Now that's a fact. From the video which I've shared, you can tell that Sifuna refused to apologize. I don't know whether you agree with Sifuna's move or you agree with the, what uh, the, the, the Amazon Jeffa Kingi had said. Because you see, lately, to be honest, I have realized that Sif, uh, Kingi has been, you know, has been defending the president lately. Uh, that's what I've discovered. Because there's a time also uh, when there was this debate about uh, the speech that uh, the president made, you know, that speech, the presidential speech to the national address. So there was a speech which William Ruto made, and that's available in the public domain. Everybody knows about that. So in that speech, there was supposed to be a reaction from uh, the parliamentarians, the Senate and the National Assembly. They were both to react. And I shared one reaction from uh, Junet Mohamed who told the people that hile swala zima la kwamba Ruto alikuwa anapigia watu simu wengine ni si ukweli and, and, and there is also that narrative of of lies you know in that reaction that is now the the Migori women rep also said that about a hustler's fund someone that uh, Sini Hassan I don't remember the name but it has been kama Ruto alimpigia huyo uh, hustler fund the borrower Na the borrower alichukua laki saba. Haka nono tuktuk. Okay, I don't know the tuktuk imifika laki saba. The last time I checked it was around 450 there. So, unapara kwamba, hata pale, uyu liko ni senator wa maali, I think is within the uko kampani. So, alikuwa na mwalezea uh, speaker. Kwamba, ye ye kivi binafsi, anona kwamba William Mbrut alisema uongo. Total lies. So, all the time he used the word total lies, uh, the speaker would uh, stop her, you know, from continuing with the statement to withdraw the word lies and simply to say, I disagree. According to the speaker, he said the word lie should not be used. But you see, most of the time when I listen to the debates in uh, the Senate, Unapataga Sangine Cherargei Anasema, he is lying to the nation, but that's already. Be, and, and, and I've never seen, I've never seen Kingi 
telling that politician not to you say not to say he is lying to the nation you see i have never seen that also if you go to the uh, wetangula's uh, side eh? when kimone chungwa said economic terrorists and yeah? they refer rela morodinga to an economic terrorist but again there was no call for withdrawing that statement from uh, uh, wetangula now ladies and gentlemen what do you think about how kingi has been treating the leaders in azimio do you think it's fair or do you think it's unfair why is kingi ama anajaribu kulipiza kisasi what is happening there just tell us below the comment section now to those people who are not subscribed to this channel i'd like to kindly request you to subscribe to this channel give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell now to those who have supported us before i want to say that i'm forever grateful for that support because without you this channel cannot grow so until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed